All right, Assassin Nation. Today on the show, we have Ocean Way mic blending. We have TLMYN version 2 versus version 3 prototype clips. And also, I'm going to talk about the possibility of getting these out to you for sale sometime this year. And after that, let's see, let's play a game called What Did Universal Audio Just Send Me? We're going to talk about an outro contest and uh, the Mike Art Etsy store. Yeah, that's coming real soon. It's all right here on the Nation Report. So, Ocean Way Mic Blending. It was about time. It had to happen. So, let's get it on. So, this is the 47, the Ocean Way 47, on its own. And it's not bad. But let's see what we can do. All right, so here, let's uh, turn up the mix. So, this is the Ocean Way 47. And it default brings up the Ocean Way 12 number 1. And this combination's okay, but I think it's a little bit boring, quite honestly. All right, let's go to, oh, this one's better, actually. Hold on. So the Ocean Way two, number two, the 12 number two, a little bit thicker, but I'm still not, I'm still not in love with it. It's a little bit boring for me. Here's the 49, 47 and 49 together. I don't know if that, it feels a little, feels weird. It doesn't feel right. If, what if I open that up? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's not bad. So yeah, I'd like when, again, when, if you want to open up a mic in a blend, just take one and, and click it a couple clicks to the left over here, like wide card or sub card. And so, yeah, I can hear the difference. Very congested and then a lot more wide open here. All right, that's not bad. I like that. That would work. Oh, and so that's it. So really for, oh, wait, hold on. So we had the, we didn't go to the 269. All right, the, 260, the 269 on its own is not bad, but it's still, it does feel a little bit anemic. So you'd think the 47 would give it a little bit more muscle, but it's, it's not really a lot. It still feels a little bit, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure I like this. What if we, uh, yeah, I don't think, it, hold on. If we do this, it still doesn't feel right. I wouldn't use this. All right, moving on. All right, here's the 800, the 847 together. Now the 800, yeah, the aggressive top of the 800 mixed with the aggressive lower mid of the 47. Um, does this work? I'm not sure I like it. All right, so, and again, I can't really, I can't open it up and make it feel better. How about this? Um, yeah, and that's a little bit better, but I'm still feels a little nasally. I think there's an overlap in the tonalities right up here in the nasal region, right around 800 hertz. That does not work. Hmm, Ocean Way Collection's pretty small. But let's do this. Hold on. Let's go back to this. What if we blend the 269, right, with the 800? Does that work? That's a little bit better. I'm not crazy about it still. What if we give it a little bit more 269? I don't know. You know, the 269 is like the French broadcast version of the U67. And a lot of people love it. But I, I just don't feel like I connect with the Ocean Way 269. It's not me. All right. Well, no big deal. Let's go back to the Ocean Way 47. Now that is a microphone I like. And let's pair this with something from the Sphere Collection. Let's go to the Brawner again. All right. So the Brawner, the Brawner, <laughs> and the, uh, the Ocean Way 47 together. Nah, Okay. I'm not crazy about it. I like the Bill Putnam collection. Uh, blends better, I, I have to say, overall. These aren't really blowing my socks off. And again, that's boring. And that's not, all right, okay, okay, hold on. Now we're getting somewhere. So you've got taking out, taking out that amorphous bottom end on the 47, which, which is controlled. It's not really amorphous, I'm, I'm exaggerating. So, but it feels a little tighter up there. That, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. All right. Well, I think that so far, um, it's, uh, it's hard for me to tell if I like any of these enough to work with them. But I want to know what you think. What do you think of the Ocean Way collection blended with other mics? All right. One last one. What if we blend? All right. How about this? The Ocean Way 49 and the Soyuz? No. That doesn't work. And the 5, 6, No. No. All right. No, too thick. Too thick. That's, hold on. If we open that up. No. 
Yeah. I don't know. I think the ocean way mics. And I don't know if it's the way they were captured or what's going on, but I don't, I don't know if the ocean way mics really blend well. That's just my personal opinion. Tell me your opinion. All right. I don't know. I think the Bill Putnam mics may be a little bit better for blending. Well, maybe that's just me, but I think it merits further investigation. So, TLMYN. I have been thinking lately of a game plan to get these out to market. But first, I want you to hear this, uh, a little bit of this shootout I shot over the weekend. Version 2 versus version 3. I'm not going to play the entire video. I'm just going to play you a little bit. And then we'll talk. So, um, let's run some copy through these. All right, so, um, let me find some chat GPT stuff here. Okay. Looking for a better deal on cable TV? Looking for, looking for a better deal on cable TV? 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 All right. So... Right away, I'm, I can tell this feels a little bit more solid in the middle. And this feels a little bit more balanced overall. So um, what do you think so far? All right, let's find some more copy. Oh, I got one for you. <laughs> Chad GPT wrote a trailer for me. All right, here we go. Let me find it. All right, here we go. All right, prototype three. In a world gone mad. 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 One small device holds the power to save humanity. One small device holds the power to save humanity. A microphone, a simple tool for the voice, becomes the hero of our time. A microphone, a simple tool for the voice, becomes a hero of our time. As chaos and destruction threaten the very fabric of society, a courageous few must rise to the challenge. As chaos and destruction threaten the very fabric of society, a courageous few must rise to the challenge. <laughs> this is the story of the microphone that saved the world. This is the story of the microphone that saved the world. All right, so um, I had to leave out some stuff because I realized that when I shot that video, I, was, I went into a lot of detail about what's inside these microphones, the capsules and uh, so forth. And uh, I realized that that's probably not the best idea right now. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a secret what's inside these mics from now on. But uh, I can guarantee you that it's all of the highest possible quality. So I am going to, um, I'm going to work on a, on a concept uh, that would allow me to get these out to you this year and maybe make them available a limited run sometime this year. So um, I want to ask you, what would you pay for this microphone? Now, this is version prototype version three. What would you pay for a voiceover microphone like this? I need to know in the comments. I need to know a price point that you think that you would pay for this mic, especially if it was a limited edition, meaning that like there may be, I don't know, 10, 20 at first. And uh, after that, well, we'll see what happens. But I'm thinking maybe some way uh, pre-sale, uh, go fund me something that would allow, uh, the, the, the process to evolve to the next level. What do you think? I want your comments on this too. All right. Universal Audio sent me something. What's in this box? Let's take a look. What's in this box from Universal Audio? Let's find out. Ooh. See, peeling away the layers, little by little. Oh, look at that, it's a Sphere LX. Oh yeah. Ooh, thank you Universal Audio. Let's see, we're gonna have some fun with this. 
Oh yeah, the LX. We're going to be talking about this next week, big time. All right, and we're going we're gonna to definitely compare it against the big brother, the L22, which is the same mic as the DLX. So we'll see. I'm, uh, I'm pretty stoked about this. I think the LX has the potential to be bang for your buck mic of the year. All right, late night. I'm working on a voice. Wanted to document this. Mm. All right, so the voice I'm trying to hit is, is down here. Is down, mm, down, down here. All right. My name is Mr. Damage. <laughs> All right, yeah. That would work. That works. My name, my name is Mr. Damage. Damage, damage, damage. Mr. Damage. Hmm, that's Mr. Damage to you, pal. Yeah. Damage is my name, and damage is my game. Is my game. All right. Uh, all right. Trying to get it. And it's really not back here. Maybe I, I widen it. All right. Yeah, my name is Mr. Damage. All right. Yeah, it's wait, a little bit more. It's all about trying to get the right neck position right in there. Okay, hold on. Now we're breathing life into it. All right. My name is Mr. Damage. My name. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Mm, my name. Mm, it's not really, it's, it's really, it's off throat. It's all up here. My name. Trying to get the right position here. All right. Hold on. All right, so if I try to get the right, the right muscles flexing, the right shape of my, my throat, my windpipe, lengthen it, and then widen it. All right. All right. Now we make it a little deeper. Uh, try to get it down here. Try to get it down here. But I want to open it up, up here. Yeah. All right. My name is Mr. Damage. Say my name. Say my name. Khan! So, all right, so our good buddy Khan said, how about if you give us a chance to record your smashing intro? Uh, so, um, I think that's a really cool idea, but nobody replaces Don in the intro, I'm sorry to say. But I've been thinking about an outro for the show. So, how about this? Come up with an outro. Short, right? Not, not long. Not a big thing. Five, six seconds. Voice and outro. It, it can be simple. You've been listening to, etc., etc. Use your creativity. Give me five, six seconds, I don't know, nothing too long, of an outro. And it doesn't have to be produced, just even just a voice track or whatever. And, uh... Put it on like a Dropbox or something and, and, and post a link in, in the comments. And we'll pick one. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll gather them all together and we'll vote on one. And somebody will be the outro. And also, the, whoever wins the outro, I'll make sure there's a prize involved too. Maybe a t-shirt like this one. So, yeah. And uh, speaking of, speaking of t-shirts and so on and so forth. Right, um, the Mike Art Etsy store is uh, close to completion. So you know, I just want to uh, you know dot my eyes, cross my t's <laughs> before I really start to, before I start pushing this out there. But yeah, the art prints are are they're looking great. There's a couple. Of, there's a new poster that I think you might like. Um, there's a couple of t-shirts, including this one. And uh, well, let me show you. Let me actually show you one of the new t-shirt designs. Check this out. I think some of you would really dig this one. All right. Let me know. Okay. So, um, what else? Okay. All right, nation. One last thing I want to leave you with. 
We are a special interest group, right? I mean, if one of us makes suggestions to a brand that we use, covet, worship, obsess over, etc., etc., how much do you think your voice will be heard, right? And the interesting variable here is that quite a few of us have really the same suggestions, you know? So if we can, if we can as a group leverage the simple fact that we gather here on this platform on a regular basis and comment freely about the things that we'd like to see fixed, right? The things that we know could be better and, and the changes or features we'd like to see, then maybe, maybe, right? It's not one voice whispering. It's 10 voices, right? It's 100 people. It's 1,000 commenters. It's a whole community of voice over artists, audiobook creators, uh, narrators, actors, video makers, content makers, podcasters. Anybody who really is into recording voice, right? Into microphones, into uh, making spoken voice sound amazing, right? That's us. That's us. Us. Nation. That is us. So what if, what if we could make our opinions seen and our voices ringing through the hallways of all these companies that we want to communicate with, right? Assassin Nation is a special interest group, and I think we should treat it as such. Anyway, I want your thoughts on that too. All right, we discussed a lot today. It was fun. And uh, I would love for you to comment. All right, nation, you know what to do. And may the voice be with you, always. All right, until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.